Hi everyone. Well, are you once again feeling like laughing? Or you think that I have lost it completely? Well, give me a chance. Give me a moment. Wait a second. Let me explain why am I dressed up like this? And why is it so absurd? And why are you amused? You will be getting all the answers in just a while. Ha! Ah, life. Life is like a camping expedition here we come we arrive we set up our tents our camps after a while once we are done we enjoy a lot we leave right so i would like to compare life with one such experience of mine where i have i have learned a great lesson are you also into camping? Do you camp? You will, you will definitely relate to this story. Oh, what a relief. Here I was, here I was in a camp, on a camping expedition with an uncle, an uncle of mine who had come five years back to my place and he was an enthusiast. So he and me and some of our friends and their family members, we went up on top of a beautiful hill somewhere in Darjeeling. Fresh air, chattering of birds, beautiful blue sky, far away snow laden peaks, nice big green huge trees and the smell of flowers set a very good beginning to the awesome awesome expedition that we were about to experience in the evening we set up our camps we got into our own camps we set camps close to each other me and my uncle were in the same camp with some of the other people their kids their family members middle of the night people woke up somebody wakes me wakes me up saying hey Sudeep get up say what happened do you hear that noise? I hear a noise. Ch -ch -ch. Absolute silence, but that noise. I said, that's cricket. Another cricket told this cricket. Ch -ch -ch -ch. They understood. Wow, that, that was relief. After a while, a sound. A little kid shouted, Mommy, Mommy, I hear something. What is that animal? A man got up and said, Oh, hey, who is riding that bike over here? After a while, we look around. Guess what I noticed? The sound of the bike and the roar of the tiger, according to that kid and that man, was nothing but my uncle who was snoring. Who was deep asleep but was snoring loud enough to confuse people of those two noises. Well, I woke my uncle up, saying, Uncle, get up. He woke up. I told him, Uncle, you were snoring so loud, everybody woke up. They can't sleep. So my uncle decided not to sleep that night. I said, that's not needed, Uncle. You can sleep, but don't snore. He said, no. For the benefit of everyone, so that everybody enjoys, I will stay awake. After a couple of years, passed by my uncle visited us again and this time I promised I will not set up a camp and I will not take him for camping after a couple of days in our house just like a leaf falling onto the ground slowly my uncle fell unconscious I said uncle get up what happened somebody call the ambulance we took him to a nearby hospital the doctor examined him and with deep regret said I'm sorry your uncle has a severe heart issue and he will not be alive for too long. He called all the family members, including me, and he said, I want to talk to you, the doctor said. And we said, yes. He said, if you have consent, after he passes away, he can donate his organs and save many people's lives. After a while, we spoke, we came back, we told the doctor, doctor, we still expect a miracle, a magic to happen. We want our uncle to be alive.
so nobody at home is really in a position to make that decision they are in grief they are in pain that he is suffering slowly after a few days in his sufferance he left us all and his body was cremated burnt to ashes and ashes burnt to his body in one and his soul was released he couldn't really he couldn't really make a choice because he was no more i recall that day when for the benefit of other people he decided not to sleep but once he was no more he couldn't make a choice he couldn't make a choice whether to donate his organs or not and nobody could on his behalf so friends i learned a great lesson from this experience of mine in life we have choices while we are alive we need to make those choices choices to help others to be by others to share to love to have compassion to have empathy after we are gone we have no choices even when we want to we cannot make those choices so only when you give you get back only when you experience you get back in times of need somebody has a problem with job you can help him. somebody has problem with food you can help him. somebody doesn't have clothes you can help him. somebody needs blood you can help him. somebody needs help you can give your time and money and help him. because when you are alive you have choices to make a difference to let people live to let people around you feel happy and remember you but when you are gone you don't have those choices so i said life is like a camp we set up a camp next to somebody all our life we be there people come and go and one day we leave the camp and we are gone it is only during that time we have the power of choices choices that can change our lives that can change people's life around us just like my uncle did in that camp that day night when he decided not to sleep and let others sleep but once he was no more i'm sure if he was there he would have still made a choice but when he was no more he couldn't make a choice and save people's life by donating his organs so friends i hope i was able to explain that the great power of choices the fact that you can make those choices you can make a difference and you can change the world i hope you have liked my video you have enjoyed my video thank you so much as always for watching all my videos on the pep talk today your host your dost your trainer mentor your captain mr nag brother nag sudeep nag would like to bid you goodbye and do take good care of yourself be safe and always always don't forget one thing carry carry that beautiful smile